Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousins, and we're live on the radio. It's November 29th, and yesterday was Thanksgiving. It was an incredible day right here at Third Phase of Moon. We received a video out of uh, Colorado. The man by the name of Lance Robertson claims he's captured something quite incredible. We don't know what it is. We're trying to find out, investigate, what is this object? Is it military? Is it uh, extraterrestrial? We're looking over, we had the Billy Meyer documentary right here in Third Phase of Moon. People thought maybe Billy Meyer's videos are hoax, all his photos are hoaxes. Well, now there's something in the aircraft that looks exactly like a Billy Meyer straight out of, uh, you know, the science fiction movies. Is this science fiction or science fact? We're joined with our team member, Dr. J. Andy Elias, all the way from Los Angeles. Welcome to Third Phase of Moon, and uh, what do you think of this breaking news video that we just received last night? Blake, this, I got to tell this to all the listeners and of you, of course, this is honestly by far one of the best videos ever. Uh, if we prove it's not a hoax, obviously this is just an investigation right now, but on the face of the video, this is, if not the best, one of the best. Up close, daytime footage of a disc floating, flying, Interacting with reference points, unbelievable, Blake. And from what I hear from a top member whose name I don't want to quite say, we could talk about other instances with him later, said that this may sound, after seeing this, this looks very similar to two confirmed UFOs that have gone through very extensive investigation that occurred in Cleveland, and I don't know what the other state was. It was on the East Coast, uh, the second one, and both of them, uh, looked similar is what he told me and those were proven with mass witnesses and uh, the videos we're going to be seeing very soon and more than likely possibly uh, we might be even have a chance to show them and show the listeners what we're able to compare well we're going to look over the video right now and pretty much you know over the next 10 minutes maybe just kind of roll out what it could be what it isn't what people claim, uh, you know, their reasoning behind what it is, whether it's a fake or not. Let's start in with some of the possible hoaxes. People are saying that, well, maybe it's a massive model of some sort with a crane holding this thing and uh, transferring it behind the building and keeping the crane out of the shot. Well, in my opinion, pretty much that would be quite elaborate, but then there is no uh, wire or string uh, in the shot whatsoever, Dr. J, of that scenario? Uh, this is absolutely unbelievable. Billy Myers was, uh, pretty much to this day, was some of the closest footage of a UFO. However, it looks like exactly, it acts 100% similarly to how a model would on a string. And really, if you look at it from that point of view, the way it rocks back and forth. Now, most of it, some of it is what I'm saying. I'm not saying all of it, but a lot of it really is very suspicious. And there are several books, and most researchers fall into the category of believing that was a hoax. Uh, I'm undecided. Uh, you know, I'm on your team on the journalistic point of view. But with regards to this footage, unbelievable. Anybody out there who has not seen it, you have to see it. This has already been picked up. Uh, Blake sh- shared with me. This has been uh, seen on other websites. And Blake, if you know the title, you could, of course, spit it out. Uh, and why, why not we give the phone number right now? 347-934-0378. Right, Blake? Yeah, that's the number to call in live if you uh, want to comment on the video that we just posted on Third Phase or if you want to break news yourself with the UFO sighting you captured, you can call in to 347 934 0378. You know, what I also found fascinating about this video is when we first looked at it, it was, I guess he was shooting kind of into the sun, so it was kind of a silhouetted shot. And uh, when we took it to analyze it and started to enhance it and put in a lot of brightness and contrast, I think we had to pump it up twice with uh, the contrast going up to 100%, then about another 150%, and then the contrast a little bit down. Then you get to see what the you know, what made this thing tick or what do we think it's making it tick is something 
is something that I've never quite seen. Some people are saying it looks like the Searle device. We had Professor Searle with his free energy device, and people are actually making comments below that it could be that magnetic new uh, free energy that's been out there. Also, what's pretty incredible is when we ask Lance if it made any sounds, well, that's the whole thing. People think that it's a military drone, but we know these drones make a lot of noise, and Lance said this thing made no noise. So there's another thing that is just, it's drones don't make noise. So if it's a drone, well, what kind of drone is it? That's the question. You know, uh, there's several things to say. Dr. Greer believes, uh, or when we had him on right here on Third Phase of Moon, we, he says that there was a, a very major movie producer that had seen a, a real ET craft, according to Dr. Greer, using the CE5 method with him. But another time recently saw a craft, a disc with rivets on it. And they say it's an ARV, which is an alien reproduction vehicle, which is what we have, our government has been producing with these crash and retrievals. I mean, if people remember or research in ufology seriously, they'll remember that there was the whole shoot them down order given by President Truman. And for decades, we, or decade at least, we lost pilots. Great American pilots died trying to shoot these discs down. I also want to mention, uh, with regards to that footage, uh, it could be, like I said, an ARV. And some people also say it could be the beginning of a false flag. Uh, Maybe people are getting sick of the war on terror or not believing it as much. And when we have that 9-11, we lost a lot of our liberties. And what better way to control people than fear? So a quarter of Werner von Braun, this is all his theory. I'm just talking what he said. Uh, the last card would be the, the false flag. Of course, it would be a false flag of an alien invasion, a hostile alien invasion. So is that what this is? But the final point I'm going to say about it is the physics of it. If we prove this, if, if we continue through investigation and can find more witnesses and, and at least just prove that everything is 100% legit, because it looks very good, but we want to make sure it's not too good to be true. The physics of it, like what flies silently without rotating uh, very fast like a helicopter or is not in a uh, a regular flight path such as an airplane which requires it to be have to have speed in order to maintain lift according to our physics Blake we can't do that and if this is real third phase of the moon is sitting on the smoking gun well, which, it possibly could be the best, uh, well, that's what people are saying in the comments. Best UFO video ever, hands down, this should get a billion hits, share it with the world. And that's what, everybody go to Third Phase Moon, click the video, link it with your Facebook friends, share it with everybody. Ask them what they think it is, because somebody, people around the world are also claiming in the comments that they've seen the exact same thing halfway around the world in Finland and Scotland and other places around the country that this is not uh, just a one-time occurrence. This is a continuous phenomenon, and this vehicle has not just been spotted possibly right there in Colorado, but around the world. Uh, Mr. Hello. Robert Bingham, oh, I'd sure like to get your uh, opinion on what you think uh, that was. Was it military in nature? Is it a hoax? What What do you think? I thought it was, well, it looked very authentic, and uh, I, I I couldn't say if it was military. It could be military. Uh, I did notice that it was doing that 360, and they they just they do that in order to see any uh, coming their way. But uh, it was a very nice uh, nice footage. And was it? I just was wondering, uh, is it happen to be over what city in Colorado? Well, that's the you know the continuing investigation. Lance uh, Robertson, he's with his family. He's pretty much. He's so basically the way he explains it. He's really happy he caught it, but then he's also concerned. He don't he doesn't know if he he did something wrong or you know he, he's just really concerned. So he's putting it in a general area in Colorado, but not exactly telling us exactly where it is. I we're trying to get him to come forward. We're trying to get him on the radio tonight, but we weren't able to logistically make that happen, unfortunately. So we're going to try and get more information on that. But uh, what what was the uh, 
Is there any reasoning but, what location the might be strategic? The reason why I said that is because they have a lot of uh, nuclear silos in, in, uh, in these, that Colorado Springs do, where there's a lot of nuclear silos. And I just was wondering if they were out there uh, monitoring the uh, nuclear silos. Absolutely. A good uh, statement there, Robert. Um, you see craft like this quite often in Los Angeles. It, when you get your – I know you have some incredible pictures, one that you shared right here. Is this the type of aircraft that you're capturing that you see oh, quite often over Los Angeles, or is it uh, a different type? Uh, that is more uh, – it looks more of a, uh, a military type uh, compared to the ones that I see. I, I, I've seen a disc-shaped one more of the Bob Lazar type. Uh, I've never seen one like that. Uh, I've seen them in different uh, different crafts, you know, different designs. But that one, uh, I don't know, it just is it's pretty awesome. Bob Lazar talked about reverse engineering for mailing technology and what was going on in uh, Area 51. Maybe this is uh, what he was talking about. Robert, with this kind of... Out. It's already up to about 22,000 views in, uh, you know, less than 24 hours and still uh, climbing. Mm-hmm. So people's perception I... now, should they be uh, kind of concerned what, they, what they're they seeing here or consider like, well, maybe uh, ET is getting ready to show themselves? Do you, so it's basically with the military aspect, you're pretty much... Uh, uh, I wouldn't put no, no fear out there. I think... Uh... My personal opinion is that they're not here to harm us on. They're here to to save us from blowing up the world, you know, or these nukes. Uh, mm-hmm. It's not if we're going to blow it up, it's when. Can I call for one um, minute? Okay, we've got a, another caller in calling in an eight, area code 815. Welcome to Third Phase of Moon, you're live. Hey, Blake. This is Blake. Yes, welcome to Third Phase. How's it going? Cheers. Uh, Oh, I watch your yes. show. I watch your show on YouTube. I enjoy it. Bill, what a video fascinated? Have, did you get to see this new video up on Third Face? Yeah, I'm watching it right now. Um, it looks. I don't know um, what it is. I mean, I, I believe they have the kind of retro uh, or whenever they re-engineer. It could be man-made, but with the ET knowledge, you know, technology. Well, absolutely. Uh, I think. What we are looking at in the video is a reverse engineered, like you just said. To, that's uh, it is man-made. Yeah, but, but it, something going on somebody, that we're not uh, aware of exactly the dynamics of the way this thing's working. Uh, right. He was saying that it made no sound whatsoever. The thing looks quite heavy, and uh, there must be an alien connection. Uh, Robert. Well. Um... Of course, the United States has uh, a lot of toys in their toy box so as far as uh, uh, making, uh, reverse engineering, engineering their own craft. Uh, I couldn't tell you that uh, if it was the uh, United States. So it could be, I mean, possibly. Had, uh, I could be even uh, another country like Russia or China. Who knows? Yeah, or it may be not affiliated with the country at all. It's some uh, super secret group that have this technology. And uh, it's interesting that it happened over Colorado. Uh, my brother asked Lance what happened directly after that video, and we get a lot of comments down below um, claiming, like, why didn't he run after it? Why didn't he uh, keep chasing it? And Lance asked, uh, Brent asked the question, and basically Lance explains he was in a car driving. It went behind a building. Once they like kind of came up the road past the building's uh, oh, the roof line it was gone it was just it wasn't it, it vanished so wow each capture what more it only I think the video lasts for approximately five to seven seconds it's a short video yeah but you know the window of opportunity in the real world sometimes works that way if you're going to capture something quite incredible you just have to be in the right place at the right time, and you just quite never know. Bill, For sure. Um, Hello? Yes, this is uh, Blake Cousins. You're live on Third Phase of Moon. What country are you calling from? Uh, we're calling from India. 
Wow, that's a long distance call. So I think it's one of our longest uh, ever on radio history right now. Hey, welcome to Third Phase. Do you have any uh, UFO sightings you want to report? Any questions? Well, yes, actually we do. We have a uh, we actually have an adoption, 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 an adoption. Do you have a, a what? Abduction. An abduction. An abduction. An abduction? Y- yes. Okay, you have an abduction yes. going on. What what happened? Who's been abducted? Okay, so so it, it was it was it was really late at night, and me, me and my family we were we were at home, and my parents just went home, and we all were going to bed, and I I go I I look out my window, and I see I see I see this light, and it's this big green light, and I get, I, I don't know, and I wake up next next morning, and and, and I'm, I'm I'm covered in scratches. I, I don't know. Well, it sounds like a it's a possibility. Uh, there's a lot of people that claim the same theory when they they see a light, they have missing time. Next thing you know, they wake up and they see uh, you know scars on their body or you know things along these lines. What were your were was there anybody around that saw this uh you know this this UFO besides yourself? Ah, uh, no, no, no. No, no, not not anyone that I remember. It was really late at night. Sorry for my bad English. No problem. Keep going. Is there uh, anything else? Do you have any questions for Third Phase Moon, or uh, is that is that pretty much what you wanted to share? That that that's, that's Black Friday. Friday. You know, little videos of Black Friday people fighting and robbing. This is what. Uh, India's breaking up a little all the way from uh, India. Wow, that was a long call. I want to thank all the callers from around the world, including the man from India and uh, everywhere else. But let's go with uh, area code 952. Uh, what do you think of the show tonight? And uh, any last words for our viewers right here at Third Phase of Moon? I guess uh, 952's been uh, pretty much maybe abducted like the person from India possibly but hey you know I've, something funny uh, Peter Davenport you know who that is he came okay. to my house and uh, he he did a lecture on on disappearing people and he talked about he talked about whales getting drugged and dropping in the middle of the land and they, they would find whales you know miles and miles away from the ocean I just thought that was so bizarre, you know. Peter Davenport intercepts a lot of UFO calls. Have you ever heard of him? Absolutely, and that's a whole different show all in itself. Hey, uh, any last words for the viewers of Third Phase? Uh, Blake, can I talk, or...? Robert, you're going to uh, give us the last words, Robert, Los Angeles, uh, uh, the man that summons UFOs. Close it uh, out. I, my last words are to keep your eyes to the sky and uh, and have your cameras always with you. Uh, any kind of camera, but uh, if you do take uh, photos of them, try to get a reference point and put the object next to the reference point. Take a picture of the reference point and you, naturally you will capture the uh, object. Uh, also, you know, um, uh, there's, uh, the, all you have to do is just go up there and, 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 uh, really want to see them and they will show themselves. So, um, it is real and it's, uh, it's only going to get, uh, better. Uh, the world's going to get better. It's not going to get worse. I agree with you on that, Mr. Robert Bingham, the man who summons UFOs. This world has a chance. People have a chance. We are inspiring beings that will make this place a lot better than it is right now. I have faith. And if you've captured anything amazing in regards to UFOs, you can contact Third Phase of the Moon via Skype or Facebook. My name is Blake Cousins, and we'll see you again next time.